Let's say you need to download an old version of Adobe Reader. When you go to their website to download it, all you have is a download button here, and you can tell that the version is stated right here and you can't change it. You are just given the latest version, which makes sense. They want you to have the latest and greatest version of their product. So when you press download, we just get the newest one. That's it. But if you really need an old version, here's a trick. This is a link I'm gonna put in the description and all credit goes to Richard0710 right here. So what Richard has done is he's provided links to download the EXE directly. But what's cool about this is that you can actually customize these links. So he gave a very specific example here, which I've copied into this notepad. And if we actually go and search Adobe release notes, you'll see that there's a list right here at the top, release notes of Acrobat Reader. I can scroll down and see a full history of every version of Adobe Reader. So let's say I wanted to go all the way back to June of 23. Well, you see the number right here? I'm just gonna copy that. The number just has to be injected into the link. So I'll paste it here first. I'll delete the parentheses. And if you look right here, you can see that the format of what appears here, and in fact, right here, it's the same number. This and this are the same. I just have to match that formatting. And to do that, I'm gonna get rid of the dots here from the 23003-20201. I'm gonna copy all this. I'm gonna stick that right here, and then I'm gonna repeat it right here after the 64. And then I can even customize this if I wanted to, but in this case, I don't care. I actually want English US. So I'm gonna copy this link stick it in a browser, paste, press enter, and it downloads the file. Now, what is so useful about this? Why is this so great? Well, you're downloading it from Adobe. You see this, adobe.com? That is way better than if you go onto the web and type, I want old versions of Adobe Reader. And then you have third-party sites that are like, I have the old version. Because when you encounter sites like that, there's no telling what they are doing with that file. For all you know, they have malware wrapped into it. Now you might ask yourself, hmm, Matt, why do you care about malware all of a sudden when you're telling us to download old versions? That's bad practice. That would be a fair point. And the main reason I'm showing you guys how to do this is because there are cases where it's useful. So for example, if you wanna test an old version of a product, this is a way to get it. Or if you wanna deploy the product via Intune or SCCM. And so that's the trick. Thanks again to Richard0710.